So I've actually got something to show you all. Are you ready? Are you steady? <laughs> Get ready, because we are back in Essex. <laughs> so what is new? Um, I'm now single. I'm single and I'm certainly ready to mingle with just one person, so I'm not really ready to mingle, but I'm single and yeah. So if you don't know, which you should know, because I feel like everyone knows, I am in love with Diag. So um, I'm just manifesting this. I'm really putting it out there and I just feel like if I keep putting it out there, I'm going to get some feedback because that is, that's the way it works. That is the way it works. So that is what we're rolling with. Um, so yeah, I'm single and waiting for James, basically. Long story short. So that's basically what I've got to update you on. I feel like other than that, I've been having a lot of fun with Chloe. Um, obviously seeing the girls as well, but me and Chloe seem to be stuck by the hip because all I seem to do is her eyelashes. So um, she's constantly ringing me like, oh my God, they're falling out. I need another top up. Oh, can you just do a little top up? So yeah, that's all I've been doing really. That's basically it. Every time I see Elma, which is weekly, oh she God. does my lashes. I say to her, have you heard from Diags? And she goes, yeah, I have. We're going to go out. And then they plan to go out and they don't go out. So with James, um, we've made a few plans. We have made a few plans. Um, I see you on Thursday, let's do Thursday, Thursday works for me. And then Thursday just never comes around and we just don't, it's, it's just not a thing. So I feel like the ideas there, the thoughts there, it's just not happening, but it will happen. It will happen. I've got loads of things up my sleeve that I know I'm going to push for it to happen. And I feel like you've got to go full force. I'm going at it full speed. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get what I want because if I don't, I'll just, I'll just run away. I'll literally just run away. No one will ever see me ever again. I don't think anyone wants that. I'd like to think no one wants that. I think he's so handsome. He's funny. He just makes me belly laugh. And I feel like we've just had this ongoing flirty banter for so bloody long, like literally since I've known him. I feel like it's just like unfinished business that never started to start off with. So it's like just business. Do you know what I mean? We've got so much sexual chemistry, it's a joke. So I have high hopes that yous will break the seal at the house party tonight. Well, I reckon it will happen. I this mean, could be your husband. No, it will be my husband. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm probably the last person to ever hear the gossip because, one, I've probably got a motor mouth, so I feel like no one ever tells me anything. And two, I just I don't think I'm as involved as I probably need to be, but I might be this time around. Who knows? Fortunately for me, I'm not excited to not see anyone. If that makes sense. I feel like no one gives me the absolute horror and the fear. So that's that's always positive, isn't it? Oh, I feel like I'm a pet peeve myself when it comes to dating because basically what happens is I, I like have all this love to give and give so much love and then I give myself the ick and then that person gives me the ick and then everything about them gives me the ick to the point that I, like, even their breathing gives me the ick and then I just, it, it literally, it, it goes up so high and it falls straight back down really quick. Um, so I'm just hoping this isn't going to happen with James. My favourite moment from the last series of Tawi was probably when we did the spine on Pete. That was still up there for me for the best. It was the funniest thing. I wet myself while I was running around in a camouflaged outfit. I thought the whole thing from start to finish was just hysterical. Pete running for me really just sealed the deal. Who would have thought we would see Pete Weeks running for a, vine a vineyard, a vineyard, a vineyard. <laughs> so I've actually got something to show you all. And I feel like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around and do a massive reveal. Are you ready? Are you steady? All right, hold on, I've got one button. <laughs> it's the new couple of Essex. <laughs> you just don't know yet, but it's fine. We will get there. Can I just say one thing? Yesterday, I see Elma walking down the high street. She's got a top with her face and Doug's face on. <laughs> so my, my theory is we're wearing the t-shirt with both of our heads on, is that, you know, you've got to manifest it, put it out there, you're going to get it back. If I just walk around with this t-shirt on, go to sleep with it, wake up with it, basically, one of them days, he's just going to wake up next to me in bed. Do you know what I mean? So that is, that's what we're going for. So I'm strutting up and down the high street, just ready. I'm ready to be like, I knew this moment was coming. This point forward, we're going to make some time for each other. I, I'm guilty of it as well, admittedly. I've let you down twice, maybe three times. We'd have maybe, to, maybe eight. Maybe three, maybe <laughs> eight times. But this, from now on, we're going to make some time for each other. OK, and let's do we're it. we're going to start now. Guys, Towie is back only on ITVB and ITVX. Make sure you tune in.